It's the start of a new year at Godolphin. I always get very nervous coming back to school because, you know, it's straight in and you've got to, you've got to go and you've got to run as fast as you can. As classes begin, there is one activity on the minds of the third year girls. In year nine, that's the first year you're allowed to join CCF and everyone gets so excited for it. Basically the whole year signs up, especially the ski trip. Everyone's so looking forward to that. When I was in first year, I think they had a massive inflatable laser tag course and I saw that it was for CCF and I thought I'd join. <laughs> so a lot of people in my year were joining up, so I thought it would be a fun thing to do. And it is. So this second week, we're all getting our uniforms and it's all very exciting. Everyone really wants the trousers because they're really cool at the moment. Left, turn. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Girls, I'm impressed already. We have not done drill for a while. And to be together like that already is really good. Oh, hello. <laughs> Brilliant. Very smart. <laughs> Which planet are you on, Yasmin? Godolphin's charity team have over 20 events this year, and planning is already underway. How much are supporting? Uh, young Minds. Young Minds. Yeah. We have a big Macmillan Day in September, the sixth form, go into town, dress up in green wigs, Macmillan green, and we collect there. So we have collected in excess of 14,000 for them over the last couple of years. Life will see. One of the charities that we support is the Elaborate. You know, they experience for themselves for one night what it's like, the plight of the homeless. We're sleeping in the Salisbury Cathedral cloisters and we're sleeping on the floor, which is very hard stone and it is really cold and it's raining. So it should be a fun night. It's really fun. So we're going to go to like helping getting homeless people off the streets and like, help get them all the essentials they need just to survive. And it's a really good cause. In November, Mrs Hattersley received a surprise call. I remember that Friday when I had a phone call from a journalist at the Sunday Times and I thought, oh, I've got a journalist wanting to speak to me. You know, I suppose I better take the call. And it's a Friday afternoon, he said, I'm going to make your day. And I thought, yes, really. And he said, yeah, we, we've decided you are going to be secondary school of the year for the South West. And I nearly fell off my chair. That was an amazing moment. The Sunday Times looks at the wider life at the school. So they look at the co-curricular provision, they look at the music, they look at the arts, they look at the drama, they look at all of the clubs that we offer, um, and they look at the school in the round. And so if we were going to win an award, this probably would be one that best reflects life at Godolphin. As December approaches, the vocal ensemble face their first great challenge of the year. It's in about 15 minutes time, you need to be Concert ready. It was the Christmas carol concert for Bernardo's. We sang three pieces, an amazing thing to be able to do. Each year the school puts on a senior school play. So it's main Dagenham, about a week left. I'm so excited, although I'm really nervous though because I don't really know all my lines yet. I've always wanted to be a main part in a school play, but um, yeah, since I was younger I've been like trees and bushes and like bluebells and really weird like men. I'm fine, I, I feel like once I get to the show I'll be fine. I think everyone's in the same boat as me at the moment because, you know, it's all getting quite stressful now. Guys, you've got half an hour! Despite all the nerves, the play is a resounding success. Really, really tiring, very emotional, um, but in the end it was all worth it and went really well. There are lots of, of things that happen in, in a school year that are special, but there, there have been one or two highlights. Godolphin Remembers was an event to remember the First World War and 100 years from it and the school's involvement. 
there was an exhibition of archives in the main hall, a trench going down to the PAC, there was music and a play in the PAC. Because we've got such lovely diaries and records for this school, it was very easy to dip into the archives, create a script and get a wonderful sort of sound and light show going. Every November, um, the Upper Sixth goes to Westminster Abbey and have a service in the um, chapel. And just as the tourists are chucked out, we go in and we have the Abbey entirely to ourselves. We both did a reading and we also uh, sang as well, which was really lovely. And I think that's definitely going to be a highlight of the year for me. And I think for a lot of other people as well, that was really special. I'd say Christmas at Godolphin kind of starts when the decorations go up in the hall. So And the big tree. Yeah, I remember seeing it for the first time with the lights around the outside and I just thought, whoa, that is amazing. Fion came running into my room, she went, oh, the Christmas tree's up. So that's quite exciting, and all the lights. The teachers are all in a lot better mood. That's quite nice. There's a lot more chocolate around. Well, everyone's so tired. Yeah, but it, it, it yeah. helps because we've been having like really fun Christmas. lessons. Yeah, yeah Christmas themed lessons. Oh yeah, that was fun. The annual Interhouse quiz was raising a few pulses in the hall. Preparations are being made for the Christmas carol service at Salisbury Cathedral. Although there is only one event on the minds of the pupils. Ends. <laughs> the sixth formers do like a play and it's supposed to be like really fun. I'm quite nervous because sometimes they like do characters from our year. What's very good about Ents is it, it shows how observant the girls are um, because you can see a member of the staff and you know who it is. As rehearsals start, some of the younger girls attempt a sneak peek. We mainly base it on like third years, fifth years. It's a bit inappropriate for first, second year. Yeah. It's kind of like a party vibe. Everyone's dressed up, and the teachers are quite excited for it too. Though some of them pretend they aren't. I think we've got a good script, we've got a good plot. Hopefully everyone will laugh. I think I've just about been forgiven for murdering the, uh, the Reverend, um, Dr Stellawood, uh, with my bicycle. I think I ran her over quite a few times. Absolutely perfect. It was, it was so fun. I wish we could do it again. I thought they did a really good job. That was a very clever idea. <laughs> for the <laughs> I think it's best we leave that there. Come the next morning and the mood is slightly more reserved for school closing. A chance for us to recognise the 3,460 prize winners in academic achievements, music, sports and CCF. And to practise our endurance clapping skills. There is time for one last rehearsal before the school community comes together for the Christmas carol service. A carol service for the end of term, like a Christmas carol, Christmas service. carol service, and there's like lots of readings, lots of singing, things, singing, and yeah. yeah. And of course, no one enjoyed it more than Mrs. Sparkle.